Okay. So, ah, this thing has got a nice yarn. So you can tell I got a whole bunch of puppies here. And in today's video, I just wanted to explain to you guys my process on, this one's like, get them off my hand. My process on selecting puppies, right? There's a lot of different reasons for why I may select a puppy, right? Most of the time when you're dealing with us, when they're, you know, Hulk breedings, we're, you know, we're looking for overall size, bulk, conformation. You know, that's kind of what we're looking for. Honestly, in this case, it's much more how unique they are. That's kind of the, where we determine the picks and the pricing of these dogs based on the uniqueness, you know, of, of the dogs themselves right now. But if I were going to determine them, the you know, just a good old-fashioned way off of their size, I'm going to show you just a couple of things that I kind of look for, you know, in the dogs. Okay, if I were to take the size-wise here, I'm saying this guy here, this is Major, by the way. This is Major. But I'm thinking Major's going to be a pretty big guy. He's overall, he's just, he's, he's the longest dog. So I look for the length. I, I look the length of the dog's legs. He's nice and, he's got a good stance to him. Good and square. You know, good face, good, it's like a kid face, adorable face, adorable face. Um, but I, I also, I look at the dog's ears. So if I'm looking to make a comparison, I'll, I'll look at the dog's ears next to each other. I'll look at the size of the ears. I look to the length of the tail. I look for things that really can't hide from you. So the overall bone structure of the dogs, I look at that as well. It's another factor that's not going to really hide from you. So, I mean, he's, now he's hearing dogs barking, so he's getting excited. But well, they're just, there's puppies everywhere. But yeah, if I were going to go overall, like, let's see. Like, all right, let's, let's put him with, with, with Simba. Right, you can tell, like, Simba's not the... We didn't, we didn't, we're not, he's not picked for his size. His structure is great though. I mean, overall structure is great. He's, they're um, trying to keep puppies together to show their confirmation is, is some fun too. But overall, like you can tell, I mean, the ear's a bit smaller. Ear's big on this guy. You know, you can see the, you can see their, their feet size together. You know, overall his feet are bigger. Uh, um, but now you would ask yourself, what would make, okay, let's just put you up here. What would make, you know, him so much more, more valuable? Which should be obvious in this in this case, I'd imagine, that we're in a new type of a era right now where color is very, very important. Uh, you know, so I mean, t to me, performance, confirmation, you know, overall health of the dog is always the most important. But right now, um, you know, there's a big thing for color and merle and try. And so because he actually is, he's actually a pretty. Ra <laughs> I've been looking. You know, I don't think I've seen too many. Merle's really his color either. So he has a unique color to him. I haven't seen too many like him. Thank you, Georgia. Thank you. She's like, talk about me next. Um, so he's pretty unique in that sense. But really, really what determines the difference in the price point for him with us is he's some of the, he is the first Merle male that we, well, first litter of Merles that we've produced, you know? So that's going to hold a lot to the value. He's like, put me down, dad. Put me down. Okay. So that's going to hold a lot to, but now you can see them kind of on their own naturally together. So that's going to obviously add, add to the value. And then the same thing with her. Like, you know, she's got a very unique kind of looking color. So how we, you know, with these dogs, they're really like more like, it's not like, like Renaissance art a lot, you know, where they're really like, they're one-offs, you know, like it's very unique. You might never, ever see these certain specific patterns ever again, uh, you know? So that's what kind of makes them unique and that's where you the price point for these dogs is a bit different anyways so yeah i mean I, I don't know i mean i haven't really seen too many too many like her either i mean she they're they're unique you know and that that's what the price point with these dogs is is their their overall uniqueness right this guy is just flopping off the couch and oh you guys are just a mess then we got this one here which this one's actually really she's really unique she's like a um like really like a ghost type of a merle well you can tell you can barely tell that she's merle and then you turn it around and you see the merle on the tail right so she's got merle down the tail she also has it on her le on her body on her legs but you just really can't see it you got to look really close and as you can see it on the skin which is kind of like nikki you see here see how she's got the different colors it's really hard to see but it's why it's kind of a ghost and why it's kind of cool you know you can see it up here too on her on the sides so just a little bit here you know, and then she also has it on her ears, right? So you can tell. So this, that's why you got to be careful because you can't breed two Merles together. This is a Merle. 
right? You can see it in her side too. So she is Merle. Very unique, very unique, this one. And this one, this is Rogue. This is Rogue and she's insane too. She's insane, she's crazy. Cute as the Dickens, cute as ever. Guy, you're gonna fall over. You got. You guys are just everywhere. Cute as the Dickens, but yeah, okay. And this this was Annabelle, I didn't say her, and this is Annabelle. She's like, Dad, how'd you have me up here you didn't tell her my name? So this is Annabelle. She's adorable, she's adorable. Simba, and then this guy, this is Casper. So him, he's, he's, we've been having the battles through the house on like what he really is. Cause we really don't know, honestly. He's, uh, I'm, I think he's, he has the, all the markings of a tri dog, right? So he kind of has this like, you see how it's on his face? See how he has all, he has like the tan on his face and it fades and it changes. And if you look at his legs too, he has the same thing here. So he's kind of, I don't, I don't know what to call him. He's like a, like, super diluted, faded try. Like, I mean, I don't even know what to call him. Very unique. So that, that's what kind of goes into, you know, his, his, uh, the, this, you know, pricing of these dogs specifically because it's more of a litter for, for color. That's kind of what we were taking into factor here. I feel like I was missing somebody here. Did I get them all? I think I, got, I talked about all you guys. They're just, they're getting a little bit too curious now to where they just will not stay put and now they've spotted the other dogs that they always play with let's put them all up here real quick so you can see them next to each other all right so there it's good this is good and you can get a little comparison so like i said major's got the size major's got he's got, oh my god it's like everywhere just because they're impossible like this they're impossible but Anyways, yeah, guys, there's there's obviously a lot of factors. So if I was going to be picking a dog for, like, workability, then I would be waiting a few more weeks to be able to see, you know, kind of a little bit more. Let me, let me pick you up. It's crazy. All right, there we go. Kind of to see a little bit more of, like, what they can, uh, you know, what they would be able to do if I was looking to pick them for, for workability, right? Though they're all pretty feisty. But about 10 weeks, 12 weeks old is when I try to do that. I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Even so, right now, they're a bit early for me to make picks. I normally will wait about two weeks, and you're going to start to see a little bit more when they're about eight weeks, eight to ten weeks. You can see a whole lot more in them than you can right now. But we just wanted to get this part one video out to you guys. You know, just kind of give you just a little bit of insight of things that I look at when it goes to, you know, determining who's who in a litter. And, you know, like I said, this one is a lot more based on the color and the uniqueness of the dog's. So not as much goes into the traditional kind of overall selection of dogs. You know, obviously all my dogs are confirmationally sound. You know, they're all clean. I don't, you know, I don't, he's like, oh, God, sorry. And he's like, hey, my bad, dude, my bad. Yeah, they're all sound, you know, flat backs, you know, square, you know, just overall proportionate. I mean, that's something that you're going to get with any of my dogs. So that's kind of something that goes on set. You know, with me, there's, there's certain things that I'm, I don't even have to mention. Obviously, my dogs are all going to be well proportioned and clean. You know, that's it. But, you know, when we're talking about the overall picks of the litter, which, again, we're honestly talking about five or ten pounds at the end, at the end of the day. So, I mean, this could come down to, like, how somebody's feeding, you know, type of situation. But, you know, there's a lot of different body builds of dogs, you know, different ways that they can look, even within a litter. You know, you can get siblings that are going to, oh, Annabelle, come on, let's see the pooping down here. All right. <laughs> so, anyways... All right. Chaos. Anyways, what? Chaos. Yeah, it's hectic around here. It's hectic. We'll do a part two. We'll do it inside. He's going to jump off in a second. They've basically gotten comfortable, so yeah. They've gotten comfortable, so they're not going to they're not gonna stay still for me anymore. But just a quick little recap. Things that we, things that were, uh, oh man, that was a nasty one, Annabelle. Don't, you don't smell it. Don't jump in it. Just, I'm going to stand up. That one really smells. That one really smells. Anyway, so just to recap, you know, things that we're looking for when you're looking at puppies. You know, I'm looking for their overall spread. You know, how kind of square the dogs are. I'm looking at their bone structure. I'm looking at the size of their ears, length of their tail. Oh my God. Are you good? You just sent it. Like just, it's like, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. So, okay, like overall, like I said, probably your pick of the litter in terms of size. Yeah, he's got a little dirt on his face. He, he just, he just dove off the couch full throttle with absolutely zero foods. But he's probably your pick right there. 
Okay, so these are the two girls, right? Who, who would you consider based on? They're really close, right? So based on the same things that I told you, if I were gonna look at them. Based on size. Based on size. That's gonna look size overall confirmation, right? Look, she's see very super square. She's super square. So, look, honestly, just looking at them, just the builds, that is your, would be your first pick overall, overhead. It's hard to determine, but for me, that's that's what I would look at, you know. She's just built, just, she's just a little bit more stout. You know, a little bit more stout. I think the size with them is going to be very slight in the end. Um, at this point, it kind of turns into what your, I guess, your, your, a bit of your, your preferences. So, at this point, looking at them, like, you know, you should be able to see it a little bit. Like, you know, you see how she, she, see the spread, it's just a little bit less, a little bit lesser here. And when you look at this one, see how the chest pokes out a bit more? You see? Just a little bit more broadness to her. So, I mean, that's overall, that's why I would make, would make that selection. Um, I think. She's got a bit of a wider face too, just a rounder face. Yeah, a bit of a rounder face, you know, I think Eyes overall. Ear, ear size is, is big. Yeah, she, she's gonna grow. She's gonna take time. She's gonna grow a good bit different. Her but she's gonna be more, like, barely bigger. It's 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 hard to say. But just the style of the dog, it would be her. Okay, but very slight. I hate, I I like hate making picks because I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm like picking like kids for the basketball mm -hmm. team. You know what I mean? It's like I wouldn't pick anybody last. You know what I mean? I don't want to pick anybody last. Like, you know, I don't want anybody left out. But if we're going, but like, see, you don't see us. Look how square. Look how really square she is. You know how she stands. So is she though too. They they found something over here. What's going on? He is just like. Am I just like adorable or what? Uh, super kid or what? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you guys are so wriggly. You're like, look at your whole on You guys, you're super wriggly. His eyes are like the same color as the sky. I know, he's, you know, so you can, he's just the absolute beautiful dog. And that is, he's like, yeah, absolute beautiful. You heard yourself. Remember that when I'm ripping up your shit and you're yelling at me. Remember what you said about me now. No, no, like I said, guys, look. There's a lot of reasons for why you might select puppies. For this one, it's definitely more based on their color and their overall uniqueness. Um, which... Absolutely adorable. It's full of happiness. I'm better than puppy time, you know. But yeah, I mean that's pretty much that's pretty much it for this video for the most part. It'll be kind of just part one. Um yeah, so part one we'll do part two in a little bit, but give them like two weeks, three weeks, we'll do part two. But overall, just a little bit of insight for what I look at when I go to pick these puppies up. He's seeing a reflection of himself. Now, I'm just going to get an adorable video of them. And now that's going to be that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it.